give one method for industrial preparation and one for laboratory preparation of CO and CO2 each. Well, not very difficult. See, first of all, lab preparation of CO and CO2. Lab preparation can be expensive. It can be done in test tubes. It should be easy to do. You take formic acid. And if you dehydrate formic acid using any dehydrating agent like uh, concentrated H2SO4, it removes water and you get CO like this. This is one way of obtaining carbon monoxide in lab. Another method is you take HCOONA and you just heat it. You find you are left with NaOH and it gives away CO. Both are any of them, both are laboratory methods for obtaining carbon monoxide. What about carbon dioxide? Carbon dioxide can be very easily liberated. The easiest method is you take sodium bicarbonate and you add dilute HCl. You get NaCl plus H2O and great many bubbles of CO2. That is the best and the easiest lab preparation for carbon dioxide. You can also obtain carbon dioxide by heating carbonates, but this is way easier and far better. Then when you talk about industrial preparation of carbon monoxide, you could actually use water gas. What is water gas? When steam, superheated steam is passed over red hot coals, you find it gives CO and H2. Wow, we have got carbon monoxide there. Yes, we have got carbon monoxide there. This is one of the very popular uh, methods by which, my dears, carbon monoxide is produced. Look, that, look at this in a more typed and neatly written form. Same drama with some you know, boundary line informations like temperatures. About carbon dioxide, even industrial preparation is much, much easier. How do you do this? Just heat limestone. There is plenty of calcium carbonate on earth and if this calcium carbonate is heated to 900 degrees Celsius, it decomposes in calcium oxide and CO2 and that, my dears, is one of the very, very major sources of industrial carbon dioxide in case it is required.